Hi, welcome to the Mike Page Doodle Club. I'm Mike Page, and today we will be drawing some palm trees. So grab your pencil or pen, grab a piece of paper, and let's get right into it. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. They happen. I'll do a couple variations of palm trees. This is going to be a palm tree like I would envision on a deserted island someplace. So I'm going to make a pretty skinny trunk of the tree and then basically just start kicking the pen out different directions um, and each of these will be almost like you're drawing a bird flying by like that uh, so it's going to be a slight arc to it and then off of each of these I'm just going to kick the pen out a bunch of times to create the palm fronds. And you, you want them to be kind of a mix between straight lines and slightly curved lines. And then up at the top here, I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker like that so that it you get the fronds on the other side of the palm. And I think I'll make this one where you're seeing seeing both sides of it like that. So palm trees look very chaotic, um, but if you kind of simplify them to a bunch of quick lines like this, they're not, not very difficult to draw. Uh, if you were going to try to draw it very realistically and make every last palm frond, I suspect it would actually be more difficult and less convincing uh, than, than doing it quickly like this. This is the way I like to do palm trees because it's quick and convincing enough. So there's one type of palm tree. The next one I'll do will be a royal palm like what my grandfather has in his yard in Florida. Uh, this kind of palm tree has kind of a relatively wide base. We'll go ahead and put them in a setting as well. Uh, then the top part of the tree changes from, this part would be sort of a grayish brown, more gray, I think. And then the, the top part here is fresh green growth. And then all of the fronds come out from here. Uh, these, these are called royal palms. They can get very tall, um, but I'm making one that's still relatively young, I guess. And again, you just want to keep kicking the pen out or pencil, whatever you're using. Marker, if you're using marker. But just quick choppy lines like that. Um, sometimes you get a wild frond in there, that a broken one maybe. Especially if there's recently been a hurricane. And depending on how well manicured the palm is. You might also have some old growth resting dead along here. Um, one question that I get asked from time to time is, uh, especially with the kids that I work with at the after school program, they'll ask how I know how to draw things off the top of my head like a palm tree. Uh, and the answer is practice. 
Um, if you are the type of person that kind of studies things that you're seeing in your life and you pay attention to details, um, it's a lot easier when you want to make something like this to kind of uh, pull it up out, out of your brain's storage, I guess, and figure out how to go about making it. And again, with a palm tree, you can have them relatively nice like this, and sometimes they're very chaotic and almost tangled looking. Uh, and the trick is to find the right balance of how many palm fronds you want sticking off. Sometimes less is more and sometimes more is more. There's our royal palm. And then there's also another kind of palm. There, I mean, there are tons of palms, but I believe it's a date palm that goes kind of like this. So we're going to make a big wide base on this one. And on this one, we're going to sort of scribble up. So I'm just doing a series of, and I should really have it widest at the bottom. So it's going to be a series of scribbles like this. They'll be getting slightly narrower as we go up. And I'm starting to lean my tree towards the right a little bit just so that I don't run into my royal palm too much. And when I get to the top here, I'm going to do the same thing that I did on these other ones, just start kicking the pen out. And I think this one will really make a, almost like we're doing fireworks here, we'll really put a lot of palm fronds coming out. Um, this type of palm tree I envision being much fuller than these two. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start filling these all out. And if you if you start start it off with the fronds coming out almost like fireworks, and then it's just a matter of filling in all these fronds coming off. I always enjoyed when I would go down to visit my grandfather in Florida. I always liked running my hand along the palm trees because the it's a very tactile, a different tactile experience than if you're doing the same with like a maple tree or any of the trees that we have up north here. So if you're one of those learn by doing people, I suspect you would agree with me that that's how you learn about your environment by investigating everything like that. And just like uh, other variations of trees, palms have so many types that some have very rough bark and some have very smooth bark. When I was in high school, I really wanted to become a tiki carver. But since I live in Massachusetts, that didn't happen. So this is a lot of variation and repetition here that each type of palm tree looks a bit different and we're still going about each one pretty much the same way. Um, the trunk is a little different. The number of fronds coming off might be a little different. 
Um, but the way we make the fronds is all the same. They're just quick lines being kicked out from the central vein of the palm frond. And maybe vary which direction they're going if there's some bent ones. You might have some dead growth hanging. This is a kind of kind of thing that you can draw pretty easily and make it fairly convincing for not much time. So there we've got three different types of palm trees. You can make some more birds flying by. Easy enough. I think I'll put maybe one ratty, ratty looking dead frond here since I had mentioned that earlier. If you wanted to put coconuts on your tree, of course you can, or you can have, have one or two down here in the sand. And there's a quick way to make palm trees. All right, so here are our finished palm trees. Uh, the trunks were a little bit different on each one, but once you get up to the palm fronds, you're basically just kicking the pen out over and over again um, to create the illusion of real palm fronds. Hope you enjoyed following along and tune in for another episode of Mike Page Doodle Club. All right, kids, now that you've finished your doodles, color them in and then share them with both Mike Page and Medfield TV. We're going to take those images and we're going to put them all over our station. Can't wait to see what you guys make. Mm -hmm.